Hey guys, Riley Spanish here, and I am here with another Lance's Charizard V Celebrations box. Got this from Walmart, along with one more. Um, they are $20 each at Walmart, which is a very good deal considering what you get inside and the potential that these packs have. Um, Celebrations itself is a little tougher to find, so these individual booster packs are um, Basically, the four booster packs that you get of Celebrations alone are worth more than $20. And then you get the two additional packs as well. There's that insert that comes with it. So let me just crack this open, and then I will go through what comes inside. You get the oversized Lance's Charizard V. the normal version of that card promo, a code card, and then six booster packs. So you get four celebrations, one evolving skies, and one fusion strike. So it is a very good deal for only $20. You get these four, and then the two additional packs, which I will be opening first. Fusion Strike to start. With the white code card on this one. The last one I opened, I got black code cards in both the Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies pack, so that was a little lucky. Just got a rare hollow from Fusion Strike, but it did pull a uh, VMAX from the Evolving Skies pack. Would be nice to pull something out of this box as well. Toxel Reverse and Vicavolt, Vicavolt, however you choose to pronounce that. Evolving Skies now. And we have a black code card in the Evolving Skies pack. That is a good sign. Definitely hoping for something better than a rare hollow. And this one starts with Fighting Energy, Bulldore, Nuzleaf, Golduck, Dino, Petalil, Chinchow, Fletchling, Love Disc, Drowsy Reverse Hollow, and a Slacking Hollow. Unfortunately, nothing great out of there, but can potentially make that up in these Celebrations packs. Hoping for at least one classic collection card out of the four packs. That would come... I can see that I got one already, actually. Um, I see the edge of it there. So we'll go through and see what that may be. Got a Cosmog, Cosmoem, Tapu Lele GX from the classic collection, and a Zamazenta V. So two hits in that one pack. That is not bad there. See if we can get something else. Tapu Lele GX is not one of the most common ones to pull. I've pulled it probably maybe three or four times total, but I have opened a lot of celebrations um, before I started uploading videos to YouTube. This pack we have Xerneas, Eveltal, Shining Magikarp from the Classic Collection. That is one of the better ones to pull. Um, not quite as valuable as the Charizard. And then the Full Art Professor's Research. So back-to-back -back packs with two hits in them that is off to a great start two more celebrations packs certainly could not complain if that was all I got out of them but let's see if we can keep that momentum going get another hit out of this next pack there's the code and we have Reshiram, Cosmog, Dialga, and Mew. Couldn't do it again three for three, but maybe some last pack magic here. Very satisfied with the pulls either way, but would love to get something out of this last one. I've actually never pulled the Charizard from the Classic Collection. Uh, the one I have, I did purchase it just to complete my master set. We've got Groudon, Xerneas, Oh, oh and Lunala. Nothing out of that final pack there, but some good pulls to go over. Shining Magikarp from the Classic Collection, Professor's Research Full Art, Tapu Lele GX from the Classic Collection, 
Zamazenta V and the Promo Lances Charizard V. So thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing.